Hey guys, sorry to interrupt uh, myself, I guess, but before I forget, the Stratford Time $40 giveaway scavenger hunt is going to happen Wednesday. The scavenger hunt video is going to be posted this Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, 2.30 p.m. Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time, scavenger hunt for $40 for stratfordtime.com. Uh, all right, that's all I've got, and back to your regularly scheduled programming. All right, so you all remember the first three that we looked at on Wednesday. Today we're going to take a look at another three Kickstarter campaigns that I found particularly interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Hey guys, my name is Erwan and this is Jeff. We are both French and we are very proud to present you our project. We hope that you will enjoy it as much as we do. Akron. So that's the Akron K01. It's actually a French company. They are assembled in France and that's part of the appeal that the company was going for. What I really like about this is, is the offering and what you're getting for the price. On Kickstarter, you can get one of these pieces starting at $450. The specs on them are a 40 mil ceramic case, which I love, I think the size is perfect. 10.4 millimeters thick, 45.5 uh, millimeters lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width, sapphire crystal with AR coating on the inside. The case back and the crown are DLC coated. It's a limit of 300 pieces, 10 ATM water resistant. It has a mechanical automatic movement inside. It is the Miyota 9015. Now, that's a solid movement. I had the 90, the 9015 in the Obris Morgan that I had, and I have the 9015 in the de facto Eins that I have. I've not had, I didn't have any issues with the Obris Morgan, and I have no issues with the de facto. So, it, it's definitely essentially the Japanese workhorse uh, equivalent to the ETA 2A24. Um, and I, what I love about this, it's a ceramic case. So, I mean, highly scratch resistant. Obviously, not scratch proof, as very few things are. But the design of them, they're, they're beautiful. They're very well put together. You can see the care in, in the design. And one of the things I love is that you get that matching in the seconds hand and that color is matched uh, with the number on the date wheel. And that's just the attention to design that personally I appreciate because it keeps with the flow. I think the price point is just right. I mean, those of you that are familiar with micro brands, I mean, micro brands is not unusual to find a micro brand offering that are typically anywhere between five hundred and a thousand dollars. Now, this is four fifty, sitting just under um, just under that mark, and you're getting a ceramic case, the mechanical movement, uh, a sapphire crystal, very nice design. Uh, and, and to be honest, I think I think they hit this one out of the park. I think it's a beautiful design and well worth checking out. So let's take a look at the next one. Time pieces are really important. They're more than just something that tells the time. They're a way of expressing yourself. And that's what every allows you to do. It allows you to custom make your own timepiece and upgrade it however you like over time. The thing that makes every unique is that it's completely modular. We took a regular watch and we broke it up into four components. The dial, the strap, the bezel, and the case. And that allows you to customize each part individually however you like and collect more and more pieces over time. You can change your watch in just under 30 seconds. Essentially, you only buy the parts you need when you want them, and we're really looking forward to you wearing an Every watch. So that's a look at Every. Now, if you remember one of the companies that we looked at on Wednesday, they had a very similar idea. Now, what's particularly different about the Every is that it breaks it down into a more modular design. So you have your dials, you have the case, you have the bezel, and then you have bands. So what's really cool about this is that it kind of makes it like a hey, a trade and play, right? And they do eventually want to have a forum online that, which is basically like a design club that allows you to trade parts, uh, propose new designs. Is it takes the personalization and the modding and your options for modding to to a whole other level. They currently have they have 15 dial options, 
10 of those dial options are mechanical. Now what I will say on the website is I wasn't able to find the mechanical movement for it, which leads me to believe that it's probably a generic uh, Chinese mechanical movement. Um, but they do have 15 dial options, 10 of which are mechanical, the other five are quartz. Five case options you can pick from, 10 bezel options, and 10 strap options. Um, those start with combinations or specifics that you can pick yourself for $160. And at the end of the day, I think it's just really a fun concept. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last one. Clockers Clock Zero One. I honestly, when I looked at this one, I absolutely love it. So the starting price for this one right now on the campaign is $369. It's a very creative type of timepiece that can be used in a variety of setups. You can have it uh, with the band and use as a wristwatch. They have an attachment that you can use as a pocket watch. Eventually, they're gonna come up with other stands and accessories that you can use uh, the timepiece case on itself. It has a patent docking system that uh, is what allows you to use it as more than just a wristwatch. What's really cool is it is completely Swiss made. The inspiration behind it was, was a slide rule. It's using three discs to tell the time and they glide past each other at different rates. You have the hour being shown on the outer dial, uh, the minute on, on the center uh, disc, and then on the very, very centered disc are, are the seconds. So it's, it's just, it's very different. It's very cool. Uh, I couldn't help but kind of stare at it. It's powered by high precision micro motors combined with Swiss quartz to display the time. The case itself to kind of get all that in there is to me on the larger side for, for most people it might not be. It is a 44 millimeter case size, 11 and a half millimeters thick. And the crystal is a transparent polymer with an integrated magnifying lens for the time display. There's something that's just very mesmerizing and inherently artistic about the way that this piece was put together. Um, I, I love it. This is one that I'm coming very close uh, to getting myself just because I, I love how different it is. I do appreciate that about pieces. Uh, you guys know I have the E1 Bradley, which is the Braille timepiece, and that's one of the things that really attracted me to that piece in addition to the story behind it. This one and the Akron are probably one, one of my favorites. Uh, but Tell me what you guys think about them. Uh, if there's any that you'd be interested in, something that you'd like to see in the future, all the links to the Kickstarter campaigns will be in the descriptions below for you guys to check out uh, if it's something that you wanna look at. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. So CG out.